Hi there, my name is Maddie, and welcome to Wise. As you can see, my hair is getting a bit long, and that's okay, because there's nothing I can do about it. The recent pandemic has forced us off campus and into our homes. You might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed trying to adapt to the situation, and that's perfectly normal. We're making this video with the intention of helping you through this adjustment. And for this video, we're gonna jump right into it, so here are our tips for learning at home. Learning at home comes with a lot of distractions. I've got five notifications for you. Why don't you check me? Maybe just one notification. No, I can't. Your favorite YouTuber just Someone uploaded, just uploaded a, video. a really funny Oh man, I got a really Your favorite subreddit's right calling. No, no. Oh man, this bed is so comfy. You should come take a nap. It'll only take five minutes, or 15, or 30, or an hour. Let's start by limiting these distractions. First off, you're gonna to wanna to keep this phone away from you as far as possible. Studies show that even the mere presence of your phone reduces your brain power, so keep that away from you in a different room, put it somewhere else, just not in your study space. When on your computer, use apps like Self Control or Cold Turkey to really limit the distractions that could come from your computer. If possible, try to study in a room separate from your bed because your bed is a foul temptress and you don't want to be tempted. All in all, the less distractions you have, the better your study session. Because home is supposed to be a comfortable space, it makes studying especially difficult. Sometimes you have to be proactive in setting time aside to study because you can't wait for motivation to strike. Because let's be honest, it never does. When have you ever been sitting at home and being like, you know what, I feel like studying. Never, you gotta set the time aside. Make sure to block off time to study and even go as far as to segment that time by subject. All work and no play can bog one down, so make sure to schedule in some breaks here and there. Something short and simple like a meditation session or a short stretch can really do wonders in keeping you going. If it works for you, use a Pomodoro timer to help out with breaks. It also helps to set small goals for yourself. For instance, maybe after an hour, you could uh, grab a bite to eat or watch that episode of The Tiger King if you really haven't binged it already. Who am I kidding? You definitely have. Whether or not this pandemic is directly affecting you, we've all been diagnosed with missing the homies. Yes, learning online is a very lonely experience. A good motivator can actually be studying with friends and turns out you don't actually have to be physically with them to study with them. No! There are actually a lot of ways to collaborate with them and I'm gonna name just a few. First off, there's Zoom, but the issue with Zoom is that if you don't have some sort of premium account, they kick you out of the room after a bit of time. Not great when you're studying, turns out. Google Hangouts is also a great alternative. They don't kick you out of the room and it's pretty much just as good for studying. Finally, there's Discord. Discord is a voice chat app that's mostly for gamers, but that doesn't mean you can't use it for studying because honestly, it's really intuitive and I recommend it. The next tip is simple and it is to dress comfy. I don't know about you, but I feel the most productive when I'm dressed in sweatpants. Look, I mean, how can I raise my leg high enough? Sweats, sweats. Wear sweats. <laughs> Let's just forget that happened. All I'm saying is if you're not dressing comfy, why aren't you? It's not like you're trying to impress anybody. You're stuck at home. That being said, some people definitely uh, work better when they dress well. You know, dress good, feel good. And if this is you, all the power to you. If you need to wear a suit and tie to feel productive, then go for it. But that's kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Working online means that you sometimes have to rely on the speed of your computer. This is especially difficult for people who have outdated devices. Getting a new computer or upgrading your internet speed is an obvious fix, but that's really expensive and time consuming. A really quick fix is to make sure you're using the right browser here. We don't recommend using Internet Explorer or Safari because guys, it's 2020, why are you still using these browsers? Especially Internet Explorer, like there's no reason no reason for you to use Internet Explorer. I have no idea why some people still use this browser. On top of that, most sites are not optimized for these browsers, so you should be looking elsewhere. If you're looking for the most optimized experience, you recommend either Google Chrome or Firefox. Both Google Chrome and Firefox are really fast browsers, but personally, I recommend Firefox because they keep your information a little bit more secure. But if you love targeted ads and the YouTube algorithm reaching into your soul, then Google Chrome is definitely for you. Also, make sure that you don't have like 8 million tabs open. That slows your computer down so much. I know this is a tough ask, 
but close some of your tabs. My God, we're reaching the end of the video here and that means we've got to plug ourselves, yes. You know that a lot of students are struggling with the transition to online learning and we are trying to do everything that we can to help. First up, you can sign up for a free 15 minute consultation with one of our expert level tutors and it's really easy to sign up. All you have to do is go to the link in the description, search up the subject you need help on, and find the tutor that's right for you. We also just launched our new homework help subscription service, which will give you access to over 25,000 video lessons, practice problems, and example questions. On top of that, you'll be able to ask homework help questions to our expert level profs. This subscription service will actually be free for the rest of the semester to help people with that transition. We understand that a lot of students are facing financial strain given the global pandemic, and that's why we're doing what we're doing, and that's why we're trying to help out in the way that we can. And with that, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment on what you wanna see next, and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can see this face the next time you release a video. From the bottom of our hearts, we hope you're doing well and we wanna wish you the best of luck on your final season. Remember to wash your hands, practice social distancing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.